all right so let's for example program it to, into MATLAB and uh, uh, see if that works so I'm going to write a live script FEM Wong uh, no it's not what I want uh, just a script FEM Wong so we have my X uh let's link space of zero one and we have four points right so here is our x later on let's just add a small variation to this x to see if it still works right okay and uh, now the next thing is to code up our our big a and uh, a small b initially i want to set them to zeros and uh, what what's their size? Uh, and it's always the same size as the number of basis functions or unknowns, right? D is equal to zeros four and one, right? Uh, in MATLAB, zeros four just means a four by four zeros. Okay, now let's go into our assembly. For I, let's loop over the what? Now do we loop over the basis functions or the elements oh, elements. elements so one two four right and uh, let's actually parameterize this n is equal to four and this should be n this should be n n n uh wait sorry uh, and n is the number of elements this is actually n plus one zeros n plus one and n plus one right the, the number of basis functions in one d is actually n plus 1 and the loop is for i goes from 1 to n all right uh here is a little bit of an issue actually so let's actually loop from 2 to n plus 1 because uh, here uh, i think i used the zero based indexing for the uh for the uh, for the basis functions and the uh, MATLAB actually uses one based indexing, so let's actually shift everything a little bit, right? Instead of uh, instead of uh, calling this grid point x zero one two three, let's actually call it x one two three and four. Instead of element one two three, let's call it uh, two three and four, just uh, to make it a little bit uh, uh, consistent with the notation. So my small element matrix is actually uh, this let's look at what they are we have this a third a sixth a sixth and a third right okay this matrix times x n minus x n minus 1 right so this is my element matrix and then I need to stuck this element matrix into this A yes I here well let me actually just do this does this work uh, does MATLAB distinguish between small and big ends okay good uh, so now I need to figure out where to stuck it in I think it's M minus 1 to N n minus 1 n right that's where i should uh, stick this in uh, it's it's i'm just uh, because i'm the way if i figure this out is when small n is equal to 2 that's the first element right i should be going from 1 to 2 and 1 to 2 right and then as n increases i should uh, stick this element matrix into subsequent uh, blocks okay so this is the matrix we also have the linear part so the b element is equal to uh okay that's a little bit uh, uh tricky so 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 i need the if statements if x n is uh if x n is less than 0.5 then i don't do anything right uh if x 
Uh, I don't need that in point. Do I need parentheses? Then I don't actually. I don't actually do anything, so I don't even need that statement, right? So the only thing, uh, the first thing I need to do is if x n the left boundary. Sorry, the right boundary is beyond. Uh, let, let's first figure out the easy case. So if the uh, if the left boundary is beyond 0.5, what I need to do is I need to do something similar to the blue wall, right? So B. Oh, actually, let, let, let me let me sorry. Uh, let me actually do the three cases. So B element. So if if I'm on the left of this discontinuity, B element is equal to zero and zero, right? Okay, so I'll stick a bunch of zeros into the element. Else, if so, here x n is greater than 0.5, but if x n minus one is still less than 0.5, right? So here we have an overlap. Uh, then, do I need to put then here? No. 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 Okay. Or else, if has to be a one thing. Okay. Uh, then my B element is going to be, uh, that's a little bit general than what I previously derived, right? So it's basically the width of this triangle, uh, the, the size of this triangle, which actually let me calculate it. It's a, a, is equal to xn minus 0.5. So that's like, uh, yeah, so that's, that's this with here um, it's times x n minus x n minus one so here is uh, why are we doing this it's because uh, mm, the area of the triangle is uh, so. So let's let's figure this out. The area of this triangle is uh, is this divided by two, right? So so a uh, whole area is equal to this guy. So that's the area of the triangle, right? Of the of the of the entire triangle, including including everything. Yeah, right. So, so it's is that, right? Okay. And then the fraction is this divide by the entire uh, length. So so the b element uh, sh the b element uh, is equal to um, the first part should be whole area times fraction square and let's then set the second uh, second element to be uh, what the whole area is going to be the same and uh, uh, and the second one is whole area times one minus fraction square right so it's basically the other part Oh wait, wait. That's actually not the case. It's actually because I'm doing this. Uh, it's actually one minus not fraction, but one minus one minus fraction square. Right. Uh, my fraction is the fraction of this part. One minus fraction would be this part. So one minus fraction square is this, and I'm subtracting this to get this. A squared is because the area of the triangle is proportional to the square of the fraction in its, in, in its length. All right. Does it make sense? So we are looking at uh, the area of this triangle here, right? We computed the area of this whole triangle, and then we also computed the fraction of this length. 
compared to this length. So the ratio of this triangle over the bigger triangle is proportional to the fraction of this length over that length squared because the area of triangle is proportional to the square of the, the side. Right. Okay. And uh, 1 minus fraction squared would be the other side. And 1 minus this is uh, what we are left over. So uh, the final condition is uh, um, basically the case where I still have the whole area, and uh, but I don't need a fraction anymore would be uh, the whole area and the whole area All right because this uh, this is like the blue case where uh, the contribution are the same so once I have this my B again n minus 1 to n would be equal to this thing plus B element so when I Oh yes, uh, so minus 2 times that, alright, 